Hi everyone, I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Wherever you are watching me from, may God bless you. And so today we're going to talk about the presence of God. I know many of us have shifted from the presence of God. Many of us have our own reasons as to why we might have shifted from the presence of God. Many of us are broken. Many of us have gone through a lot of situations, a lot of ugly situation. But God has not forgotten us. We have left God. It is not about God leaving us. We are the ones that have shifted away from the presence of God. And so today, God is calling us back to him. I don't care what you have been through. I don't care what it is that has, has made you lose your hope and your faith in God. But today, God is calling you back. God says that it doesn't matter what you have been through. It doesn't matter what you have done. But he's ever ready to accept you back. If only you can recognize your weaknesses. If only you can come to him and ask him to help you. He is ever ready to help you. God is not dead. Our God is not dead. He is just waiting for us to beckon upon him. He is just waiting for us to come back to him and say, Lord, we are sorry. Lord, guide our ways. And so today, wherever you are watching me from, I just want you to come back to God. God is calling you back to him. God is calling you back to him. I don't want you to be to be judgmental of yourself. Whatever that you have done and you feel that God cannot forgive you. Listen, God says that he's ever ready to forgive us. God says that he is there to listen to us. Anyone that calls unto him is ever ready to help us and to forgive us our sins. And so today we are going to take our reading from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. The Bible says, Come to me all who all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you would find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Oh, look at the goodness of God. Look at the goodness of God. The Lord says that we should come to him. All of us who are, who are, I mean, who are heavy laden our hearts. And he will help us carry our, our burden. What is it you call a burden? What is it that is weighing you down? What is it that you think that God cannot come true for you? The Bible has assured us today that we should come to him. You all that are troubled, you all who think that the world is not listening to you, the Lord is calling you today. If only you can believe God is ever ready to listen to you. And so today I am here to pray with you. Today I am here to encourage you that don't give up on faith. Don't give up on your life. God is ready to strengthen you. God is ready, ever ready to help you. And so today I come in the name of the Lord. I come in the name of Jesus. Whatever that it is that is breaking your heart, whatever that is weighing you down, whatever situation that you are going through and then you think that you want to give up on your faith because you feel like God is not listening to you. Today I am here to assure you that God is calling you back to him. And so I pray with you in the name of Jesus. May the mercy of the Lord speak for you. Whatever that is in your heart that has refused to let go, every brokenness in your spirit, 
I pray in the name of Jesus. I leave the peace of the Lord with you and end in peace the joy of the Lord. That is what I speak in your spirit right now. That is what I speak in your heart, in your life right now. May the presence of the Lord be with you. I pray that the Holy Spirit draws you back to him. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord envelop you wherever you are. God is calling you back to him. You that is watching me, I pray that whatever that is in your heart, whoever that has hurt you, that you feel that it's, it's too much of a burden for you to let go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Bring that bread into the Lord. Give it to Jesus. Just tell God that you cannot carry that burden by yourself. And he will help you. And I pray that whatever that is making you cry, may the peace of the Lord be with you. May the presence of the Holy Spirit surround your home. Surround your workplace with his presence. May he take away whatever thing that is letting you give up on your life. I pray in the name of Jesus, wherever you are watching me from, may God's mercy be upon you. May he empower you. May he give you the grace to love him more and deeper in the name of Jesus. Be blessed of the Lord. And just know that God is calling on you. God is waiting on you to come back to him. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord answer every prayer of yours. In Jesus mighty name. Amen.